So yesterday, or last week, I was installing the heater, trying to get it ready. This is all ready to go back in. And last night, it snowed on us. That for us is a big deal here in Texas. Yeah, no heat. But I just ran this little um, plug-in oil uh, radiator. And it worked great. Kept everything fine. It, obviously, it wouldn't work on an off-grid application. Drawing, you know, 15, 1400 watts constant, so. But, uh, yup. So, let's get back to it. I... Snow on my roof. Snow on my roof. <laughs> Look at all this snow. So much, oh, oh, well, there, there is some snow here in Texas, I promise, there's some snow, look at all this stuff, there's some snow, snowing, look at that, snow on a bench, snow on that tree, snow on a Buddha, Oh, and another little tree. Uh, so, this is the inside here. And we'll just pull it all up in. Looks like we have plenty of uh, stuff to reach up to here. But, like all everything we've done, we thought we were done, and now we're not done. So, let's open it all back up. Derp. So, one cool thing is that's how much energy my space heater uses online too currently. Pretty rad, huh? I want to see something cute here. Sorry everything looks so messy. We've it's been cold. Look at that little guy. Sophie. She's so cute. And kisses for everyone. He's so sweet. Adopt a cat, then you'll be awesome. So I've made two wires using THHN. We've got one wire that's red, yellow, I'm sorry, <laughs> red, yellow, black, green, and white, and one that's red, green, and white. I've also used extra 10 gauge on the power cabling itself, just because it is gonna be a heater. So the main purpose of this electrical line will be to pass large current so that it can heat up an element. And it's not necessary, but um, I'm overly cautious all the time. So now we just take them here and run them up to where they correspond like that. So our red and our red and our black and our black will go up and up top we'll hook them up into the board, into the control panel, the service. Whatever the hell you... So a quick pro tip. I always like to hook up the um, the line attached to the unit first before I hook it into the uh, into the board. That way I don't electrocute myself. So here we go. Let's plug them in. Mm, oops. Too far. Fer feral on there? Furrier? Fleurler? Anyone know what these are called? Furrier? I wonder if I can just... Alright, so we got these all on, like that. And we'll just go ahead and use our crimper here. We'll just crimp them with this. And... Get a nice tight little crimp. Crimp and crimp. Now we'll 
put them in. Right there. So for some reason when I was setting this up, I was thinking that my 240 volt AC over here was actually just a 120 and a 120 and they combined with each other to make 240 but apparently it has a 120 volt and it has a 240 volt so i'm going to run my white as the black when we hook it up up top we'll put some tape on it so that we know it's black and we'll come down here and we'll put a little black mark on it as well so there you have it there's a 240 and a 120 in there not a 120 and a 120 equaling a 240. Okay, so that's hooked up. Let's close it up. Um, I'm going to resist the urge to put the dialectic grease on there right this moment because I'll, I have a feeling I might be back in there again and I don't want to have to have shit all over my hands. So when we're done, we'll come back in and we'll put that on, completing the process. And just a quick pro tip. Uh, these, all your uh, electrical... Uh, terminations where they come in and connect with something else you really should be able to put pressure on all of them and not be able to move them out and take them off and they should be secure even with your force against them and uh, and that's just a that's just good practices to to make sure that your connections are solid enough that they're not going to wiggle free or accidentally pop out. So I would yank on everything. And if it comes out when you yank on it, then it wasn't in good enough. So that's my tip of the day. I'm not gonna do those for every video now, but that's my tip. All right, so we are all screwed back down. And the nice thing is they have this warning on here to let people know that touching electricity will turn you into John Travolta. Ha ha ha. Ah, 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 staying alive, staying alive. So I was feeling pretty good about the build as I was going along. Got the um, lines run up. You can see them back there. They just come in here. Come up from down there. And enter in there. So what's frustrating me right now is that um, it's the old line I need to pull it out. The um, that second line, I'm not sure, and there's no documentation in any of this. It just says hook up the 120, not a 240, but I ordered a 240. Anyway, so what I'm going to do, they're closed today, so I can't call anybody. So I'm just going to hook up all the DC and, and get that going. Just move on as if everything works fine. And and go from there. So let me throw these on and then close this up and then we'll keep going. So I pre-ran some wires for each zone in the house. There's the living area, the kitchen area, and the bedroom area. The bedroom area runs the bathroom as well. So I'm hooking those up. And we had all set to go. It's here. lines in it. Let's see. Basically we're going to use these little terminal blocks. We'll run in middle kitchen and connect it up just in case we want to add more or to it. So I'm going to hook these up and then show you what we're doing. I'm going to bridge these terminal blocks with these little prefab bridges. And I'll just make 
that terminal block all active. Then we can come in and plug into all three sides of it and have power all the way around. I suppose it would be just as easy to... Alright, and there we have it. So they're all in. All three lines run off the one line. Take one line and make it get them all in there. Ouch. Tighten them down without busting them. It's cold out here, so my hands are like not happy about what I'm doing. Alright, here it is. This is our first terminal block for our aqua hot. And that's for the living room. So I have this, I have this um, block that I made for some other stuff. Looks like it's been outside and it's a little corroded. But um, I'm trying to keep my system separate from the chassis, so I'm going to run all my earths back to. To where whence they came from so it's not necessary to do it at all but I'm doing it basically I just made little jumper cables like that and they just jump so that we'll take our main power supply plug it into one end and then it'll feed all of everything else that's gonna co come in all right that is our negative bus terminal block. So we'll screw it up. We'll just screw it in right at the top. Put it down out of the way. I always tell when it's the end of the day when they just start dropping shit everywhere. I don't like my mind how he's doing the same shit. Okay, so there's our negative block in and hooked up. And that runs out to all of the little cozy heat exchangers. And so that'll tell them all, get to work. Okay, positive legs all in. Three of them up there. And they run out to where they're supposed to go. And we'll trim all this up, um, not today, but tomorrow. Now that we know where we're going to be, and we're confident they're going to be there, and once we know everything's working, then we'll take these and shorten them all up so that everything will right up out of the way like that. All right, cool.